Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss what is the difference between default and named instance of SQL Server. When you install SQL Server, uh, if you install SQL Server in default, then what it does is it takes the machine name uh, where you're installing SQL Server uh, as SQL Server name. So any application that's uh, connecting to that server and trying to connect to default instance, what they will do is provide just the machine name or the local host. And as far as management studio concerns, if you wanted to connect to default instance, then you can provide the machine name, uh, local host, or a dot uh, in uh, connection manager. Named instance, if you already have installed default instance on one server, the next time that you're going to install SQL Server, it will not let you install another default instance. You have to provide an instance name. So it's a, a specified instance, a specified name of that SQL Server that you provide during your installation that becomes the named instance. Other difference is that you can have a multiple uh, named instance on a single server, but you cannot have multiple default instance on uh, a single server. There's a one trick to this question if this question is uh, asked in the interview uh, that uh, even if you get the requirements that uh, you need to install a uh, different edition of SQL Server on a single uh, server. Sometimes that's uh, pretty common uh, because of a uh, uh, different application isolation. So if you installed uh, SQL Server 2005 in a default instance, you cannot install SQL Server 2008 in default instance or 2012. Next time you're going to install SQL Server, any edition, doesn't matter, you have to install named instance. I hope this video helps.